What you're referring to as love is basic... basically the sweetness of your emotion. You sit here, you could feel love about somebody who is not even here. So it's got nothing to do with anybody. It is just the sweetness of your emotion. Now is your love affair, your ability to love, is it on self-start or is it on push-start? Once a human being becomes more and more aware of his own nature, he understands to experience love, to experience blissfulness, to experience ecstasy, even to experience orgasmic ways of life, you don't need anybody actually. If you just sit here, you can make it happen within yourself. Because after all, it's your body, it's your mind, it's your emotion, it's your chemistry, and you are the one who is creating all the experiences of your life. Because people are not conscious of this, that you are the maker of your life, you are the one who is doing your life the way you want it. Most people still believe that their experiences are being shaped by people and situations around them, but that's not true. Human experiences are one hundred percent self-created, one hundred percent. So if it's self-created, self right now if you sit here, would you choose to maintain sweetness of your mind, sweetness of your body, sweetness of your emotion, sweetness of your energy, or would you like something bitter? Sweetness. So you would naturally be loving. It doesn't take anybody. So a relationship, when you see a man and a woman, you're talking about a relationship. Because there are other aspects to it. There may be a social angle to it, there may be a physical angle to it, there may be a psychological angle to it, there may be an economic <laughs> angle to it. The variety of other things to fulfill in a relationship. We form relationships with variety of people in our lives. You have business relationships, you have personal relationships, you have professional relationships. So, relationships we form basically to fulfill different types of needs or to fulfill somebody else's needs, whichever way it is. That is a relationship. But what you refer to as love is just the sweetness of your emotion. You can use another person to stimulate that within you or you can be self... on self-start mechanism <laughs>because it's not about loving the sky, it's about the sweetness of your emotion. If you're willing, you can become love, you can make your emotion into a very sweet space. Love is not something that you do, it is something that you can become. For five minutes every day, go sit with something that does not mean anything to you. Maybe a tree or a pebble or a worm or an insect. After some time, you will find you can look upon it with as much love as you hold for your wife, husband, mother, child or dog. Maybe the worm does not know this, the insect does not know this. That does not matter. If you can look at everything lovingly, the whole world explodes into a beautiful phenomena for you. You realize love is not something that you do, it is the way you are. In 
and placing your hands together, the dualities of your likes and dislikes, your cravings and aversions are leveled out and there is a certain oneness to the experience of who you are.